It was suggested that being in this body, with this skin, that having bass in my voice would be a dangerous thing. And so I uh, had a voice that was like this. I recognized that my voice wasn't going to be allowed to activate itself the way I hoped. I get into a place where you don't want to live anymore, so you should kill yourself, you know? You go to the Brooklyn Bridge and you think about that kind of stuff, you gotta really want it. It's too complicated. I had been invited to the New York Poets Cafe I remember seeing this slam poetry thing and took a shot on the open mic after, but it was like a last ditch effort to throw my voice into the world. Introducing the new Apple Eye person complete with multi-touch and volume control. Doesn't it feel good to touch? Doesn't it feel good to touch? Doesn't it feel good to touch? Someone was like, hey, I think you're pretty dope. And it's pretty poetic to think that there was a sort of renaissance in my soul. To touch compatible with your iPod. I was seen, heard. And butterfly effect. And then I made it an art form to pursue and I started studying everything. Everything that formed the body, that forms the vehicle around the voice, I wanted to understand. A lot of things fall apart if people cannot communicate. And so I find tone to be the closest thing to a universal language that we have. And if I can teach other people how to speak that while simultaneously teaching them how to listen to others, it's like I'm playing with both ends of time. And now there's this dance between speaking and listening and the bridge is tone. And so I get to do both things at once. And I think that's pretty dope.